Hey, my lovely Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. So I'm here taking care of a little daily message for you. Hopping in real quick to check in on my Cancers, see how you're feeling, see what message needs to come out for you. Um, so hopefully you find this inspiring and helpful whatever comes out you guys definitely check out the description box below for all the important information that you may want to know um make sure that you are email subscribed to my updates you guys i'll be dropping some some heat that you're not going to want to miss and if you're not subscribed to my email updates you may miss it so definitely check out the first link in the description box below um it is the link to my website so you can go input your email address so you can be subscribed to all my updates okay you guys definitely um follow me on social media i plan to get active again on instagram y'all um i had just kind of took a break for various reasons but yeah so you'll see my instagram name up in the top of your screen it's just like that y'all nothing extra no underscores no nothing do not get caught up by the scamming because that was part of the reason the scamming is like horrible on instagram okay but anywho, let's get into it, y'all. I'm going to pull from the self-care deck. We're going to see the energy surrounding cancers today. Happy June, y'all. Um, it's almost our season. Ooh, I'm so ready, y'all. Ooh, okay. Like, that was just, <laughs> that was just, look, that's how, that's how the blessings going to be pouring in in June. Okay, y'all. I'm just telling you. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, like that was a whole lot that had to happen. But anywho, um, what's the energy surrounding cancers today, spirit? What's the overall energy surrounding cancers today? And y'all, these messages can resonate anytime. The only part about it being daily or is that I'm trying to commit to doing it daily. And I do plan to get back consistent, you guys. You know, life just been happening, but um, so take it when it resonates, how it reson resonates, all that good stuff. What's the energy surrounding cancers today, spirit? What what's the ooh? What's the energy surrounding cancer? Cancer sovereign. Okay, you are the queen. You are the king. Um, sovereignty. You are the queen of your life. Treat yourself like royalty. Look, um, cancer. I feel like with this sovereign energy, you're realizing your worth, right? Yeah, because look, growth is here at the top, bottom of the deck. I feel like you've definitely grown in regards to like your self-worth or your self-worth meter has gone up, right? And you're realizing that you are sovereign. you realizing that you are royalty, that you are magic. Um, You know, you've grown in that sense. I feel like, you know, to, um, can't say now... Um, because you've really got, it feels like you've really gotten in your self-love bag, okay, which is a beautiful thing. Um, but because you've done that, you've invited new love into, like, from other, other avenues and other areas. This doesn't necessarily have to be a partner, like a romantic partner. This could be friendship, whatever. Um, but if people aren't treating you like the king or queen that you are, you know that, yeah, they ain't, they're not meant. Because, yeah. You are the queen in your life. Treat yourself like royalty, okay? Accept yourself, Cancer. Accept yourself for who you are and um, realize all that you are, okay? So I'm going to pull the from the Angels of Light deck. Let's see what message can benefit Cancer's today, Spirit. Uh-oh, right, that's just too many. Um, what message can benefit Cancer's today, What message can benefit, can cancers benefit from hearing today? All right, look, so that was just, <laughs> we're just going to keep getting um, multiples, 
multiple cards. So, yeah, y'all. I do feel like, though, I do feel like love is in the air for somebody. Like I said, because you've been in your self-love bag and it's it's like because you're, because you love and accept yourself, that's attracting other people to love and accept you too. So, let love flow from your heart. Um, You know, you may find yourself around a, your, a lot of loved ones, like friends, family, that kind of thing. Um, that's what I'm getting. But so, we got surrender and wisdom that wanted to pop out. Surrender says, um, whatever you resist in life, persist. Okay? So, ask your angels to help you dissolve all the resistances of your ego, which is that inner conflict and struggle, um, the rigid mindsets and your habits. So that they can um, flood your life with higher truth and joy. Okay, yeah, it's like you're you're at another level. This sovereign, like royalty, is not saying that you're better than people, but you you know you're on a lot of level. When you surrender to the guidance of your higher self, all the energy you have been using in resistance becomes available to you. Vitality, inner peace, harmony, and most of all, love are your spiritual rewards see yeah i feel like someone's getting rewarded with love because they've done the work okay so flow with the pace of life relax okay so let me run this back so flow with the pace of life y'all and i know things have been feeling very slow lately especially with the mercury retrograde y'all this was an interesting retrograde i don't know if it's been hitting y'all like it's been hitting me but um things could definitely be a lot slower right now but take this time to relax right take this time to relax tune into yourself this is the time for growth this is the time for you to tap into this wisdom um okay tap into this intuitive guidance that you're receiving um then then follow the guidance of your intuition knowing that the angels will support you at all times the affirmation here says that i surrender to the flow of life be open to the flow surrender to how things are flowing let things unfold naturally for you cancer um wisdom showed up here as well knowledge is is learned but wisdom is a divine prompting within you your angel guidance is to connect to your still quiet center and listen to the wisdom of your soul then you will take decisions and act from your own infinite self so definitely um it feels like you've definitely gotten in touch with your higher self or your higher self um is definitely forefront it's like that's what you're needing to connect with okay with wisdom life takes on new perspective as dramas and fears become insignificant in comparison with the magnificence of the overall picture y'all and the last time i did a message for you we talked about like the drama came up spirit was insistent on letting you know that this drama you need to find like you need to find the peace in it however you can achieve the peace from this drama whether that mean um you know reconciling with someone whether that means you know finally forgiving yourself and moving forward however it looks like um it's time for you to kind of move that stuff to the side you've grown up you're growing up, so you should be looking at life differently. You should be looking at situations that are happening um, differently, right? Walk your path in life as one of the wise ones, and all will revere and respect you. So definitely, Cancer. And I'm feeling like not... So don't get spiritual elitism. You know, you know, some people um, start thinking they're better than people because they feel like they're spiritually tapped in a little bit. Like, y'all, we all on our journey, Um you know, there's no, there's no better than or less than or anything. When it comes to spirituality, it's all very personal. Like I could go, I could go on to, I could go into detail with that, but I'm not. But, um, I feel like cancer definitely, it's a time for you where you are getting in touch with your intuitive abilities. You know, cancer, I feel that, um, we kind of get, um, you know, that kind of naturally because we're so empathetic. But I feel like instead of you tuning into other people right now, Cancer, it's you tuning into yourself. You, you tuning into yourself and walking your life's path, realizing your life's path. The affirmation here says, I listen to my wisdom. So I'm going to pull a couple of tarot cards. But y'all, I definitely feel like love is coming in for someone. Um... I'm going to have to come back and do a love reading real soon. Because I feel like I haven't done a love reading for cancer. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I feel like because, you, because you've because gotten so deep in your self-love bag, cancer, it's like you're attracting 
other people. It's like that's so attractive to people that you're attracting other people to love you. Um, so let's see. Messages that you have for Cancer Spirit. Messages for Cancer. So we have the Seven of Pentacles um, that came up. Cancer, you could definitely, I feel like with patience, you could definitely have been investing in something. Surrender the outcome of whatever it is. Relax. Um, and like I said, with the pentacles showing up, y'all, this could definitely be, like I said, you know, things could definitely be a little bit slower. Your money could be coming in slower too, y'all. Or it's like you feel like you're putting a lot into something, but you're not necessarily getting, um, getting the reward. Um, that you there's a spiritual reward one i feel like there's a spiritual reward and that spiritual reward will manifest into something real and tangible on this side right um but patience is definitely being um asked of you or required of you in the seven of pentacles we got the world energy that popped out cancer i definitely feel like some of you are like um healers and offering support to the world like healing the world some of you may have definitely like been trying to in your own way like your efforts or whatever you may feel like it's not paying off but surrender to the flow of things you know don't try to control give me messages for um cancer So we got the magician that popped out. Yeah, see with the three of pentacles showing up too at the bottom of the deck, y'all. I definitely feel like this could be in regards to like your work or um, like your money. But we got the magician popping out. Look, I feel like too, this magician, it's like you have some magic information. It's like you're decoding information too because you are, because you are sovereign or because you are it's like you're on another level, Cancer. You get access to this. It's almost giving me the vibe of like Akashic, Akashic Records or, you know, like that spiritual wisdom that's like dedicated. Only certain people can understand it or decode it. That's what it's giving me. It's like the magic within you helps you to um, unlock this wisdom. This wisdom could definitely be giving you um, opportunities to... To grow yourself. Give me one more. This wisdom though. Like this information. Yeah. And I'm seeing it's like you have everything that you need. With the magician. Um, showing up. Give me one more here for cancer. What message do you have for cancer spirit? Yeah. The nine of cups y'all. I love that the nine show up. The nine of cups. The nine of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. See you're you're going to be celebrating here soon. It's like you may definitely have been putting your efforts into things. It's like you've been working hard. Waiting to see the fruits of your labor with the nine of pentacles showing up. I see it happening very soon for you cancer. Okay. Surrender. Surrender and realize that look. Because you are you are sovereign. Because you are um, like you're God's child. You, you are spiritually connected. It's time for you to tune in and realize that, um, with this nine of cups energy, I feel like, you know, this is you kind of surrendering to the flow of life and allowing things to happen. And, and once you do that, there's definitely celebration with the nine of pentacles. It's like, you know, cheers, your wisdom got you here. This, um, this infinite wisdom or your, your manifestation abilities, your sovereignty got you to this position. Clarify this nine of cups. I feel like too, um, with this nine of cups here, it's an indication to um, walk your desired path. The one that you like, what is it? What is it that you desire? Clarify this nine of cups for Cancer. Um, <laughs> the lovers popping out. See, yeah. So this could be. This could definitely be a connection for someone. I do feel like love could come in for someone. It's like because you surrendered to the flow of life and you surrendered to how things are playing out, love comes in. For some of you, this could be a decision that you're having to make. And it's like you're needing to surrender to your own wisdom. So don't look for outside or external uh, answers. The answer lies within you. This could definitely be a major decision with the lovers coming up. But like I said, you... Um, choose what would make you happy the nine of cups um what would you know what would give you your nine of cups cancer so i'm gonna um pull i wasn't ready 
But see here, okay, look at that. Clarity at the bottom of the deck. I feel like definitely you're going to receive some clarity or, you know, wisdom in the sense of whatever decision you could be making. But it's like... <laughs> Um, really cancer surrender to who surrender to who you are the magic of who you are believe the wisdom that you are receiving the guidance um, but I'm gonna pull a prophecy card one final message here for cancer one final message for cancer's spirit what can they benefit I thought some so oh okay yeah we got infinity that popped out there is no end to your triumphs feel the magic that floats in the air see yeah that's what i'm saying this magic magician it's like magic kind of energy um cancer give me one more it's like infinite possibility too give me final message for cancer spirit Final message for cancer. And so that wanted to pop out. Um, mindful was at the bottom of the deck. Be aware and mindful of all that you accomplish. Relinquish the need to control and be present in the moment. Um, tap into the universal energy that awaits you. And see, yeah, this is um this is what I'm saying, like the magic of it. <coughs> it's your time to shine, cancer. It's definitely your, it's like you hold the crown or like you're going to get some type of recognition, but don't try to control this situation. It's just like, let things, let the cookie crumble how it crumbles. Let things play out how they play out. Give me one more since that was at the bottom of the deck. But yeah, all right. So we got purpose popping out. Y'all, yeah. Bring fulfillment and happiness into your life to inspire and empower others ask what is my purpose in life what can i do to make the world a better place and i feel that's what you've been doing like someone has been someone has been asking that themselves that question what can they do to make the world it's like you're mindful of your pers your position your purpose your magic your sovereignty you may have people that you know like look up to you um you know you may inspire and and, and empower others definitely for sure cancer but yeah, when it's when it's tied to your purpose, y'all just you can't con you you have you don't have control here. I'm gonna just say that. Just surrender to how things um, are playing out. You know, your ego could definitely um, be causing some resistance, and that could when you when you resist change, that's what creates the problems for you. But when you stay in flow and just allow things to um, play out, you know that's where you get pushed into these beautiful scenarios you see the blessing in disguise quote unquote right um but that inner conflict that struggle that you have to have like a rigid mindset or you're set on something looking a certain way being a certain way that is what you're needing to surrender cancer these habits those bad habits it's like you're needing to be mindful of that also be mindful of all that you've accomplished okay i'm definitely seeing something like look this emperor energy here at the bottom of the deck this crown like i'm definitely seeing you like your royalty okay your purpose like you've grown into this position um i'm excited y'all I feel like, too, in return, you're being blessed and filled with love at the same time. So interesting. Um, I'm going to leave it here, though. I really do hope that the reading resonates with someone um, and you find it helpful. Um, Y'all, I'm going to tell you this, too. This protect card. <laughs> um, protect yourself from negative energy and harmful environments, okay? You are a warrior on the path to enlightenment. Trust your instincts and be strong. See, yeah, this is the wisdom that you're receiving. Like, that's what's happening. You're being enlightened. Um, trust your instincts the entire way. That's what's being um, illuminated for you. Trusting yourself, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. Okay, so if something don't feel right, it ain't right. Trust your instincts and, and be strong. You are, you are sovereign here, right? 
Um, but there is no end to your triumphs. Know that. So you do not lose no matter what the situation looks like. You are not a loser. You are a winner. Be mindful of that, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that the reading resonates with someone and you found it helpful. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel, y'all, if you have not already. Um, talk to me in the comments. Let me know how it resonates with you. I love connecting with you guys. But yeah, in the meantime, in between time, until next time, love you.